Howdy everybody. This week we're gonna dive into a new data point. We're gonna leave the topic of cadence and instead we're gonna talk about heart rate. So what does the concept of heart rate mean in business? Well, let's first talk about what it means in fitness, right? So here I am running. I have an elevated heart rate. And it's a measurement of my workload, of my capacity, of my ability to keep running at the current effort level. Um, we can dive in to effort, capacity, and all those concepts with business. But today I want to talk about something a little bit different. I want to talk about stress, you know. Heart rate is literally a stress test. How much stress can you handle? You know, what happens to you under stress? And I think any business owner can really relate to the concept of dealing with stress. Now there are multiple types of stress, right? There's organizational stress. That's the stresses on your actual business. But then there's, you know, personal stress. Ooh, someone's doing some home improvement. But there's actual personal stress. And so today we're gonna talk about personal stress. So the first thing we have to do is discuss how to measure it because again heart rate is a data point now in running that's easy to measure right beats per minute how many times is that big beautiful muscle in my chest gonna pump blood per minute now measuring your personal stress it's a little bit more difficult uh, it's a super variable equation right but there's some key things you know what does stress like look what does stress look like in your life are you the type of person that retreats from the world are you the type of person that becomes singularly focused are you the type of person that procrastinates um you know there's all kinds of ways that we deal with stress and if we can learn how to see those reactions early and measure that stress quickly we can then move into managing our stress because that's the key whether you're running managing your heart rate you know you cannot be maxed out you'll you'll fall over you won't work um, and the same is true in your business if you if you if you become maxed out if you become so stressed you know relationships fall apart finances fall apart you fall apart so you have to manage it you have to curtail the stress a little bit so what do you do to do that how do you do that well again super personal answer and I'll give you some options right one and like in running reduce your speed you know take take the effort level down a notch you know maybe maybe it's just you're trying to go faster, then your business is ready to go. If your business needs to be maintained, it's a perfect example of finding help, whether that's staff or a vendor, a partnership, whatever that looks like. Maybe in some investment, if it's financial stress in the business that's causing you personal stress. And then the last, the last thing is find ways to de-stress outside of business so for me here i am de-stressing right now you know i pick up the guitar i get to i get to play with a toddler every day you know those kinds of things can really help you and you can unload massive amounts of stress in 15 minutes if it's the right tool what you don't want to do is de-stress incorrectly you know getting angry turning to substance abuse, you know, avoiding the problems. So if we think about heart rate to kind of 
reiterate what we've been talking about today. It's a level of effort, sure, but it's also a level of stress. And learning how to see that stress, how to measure that stress, and how to manage that stress. Ooh, you figure that out, you're on the way. And if you figure it out, come talk to me, because I, I could certainly use my own advice some days. So, for everybody out there on entrepreneurial journeys, this is another build a business by. Hope you enjoyed it today, because we're running a long trail in Manitou Springs. And uh, again, if you, if you like what you're watching, find this to be useful, please comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, you know, you can even drive by my house if you can figure out where that is. Just kidding, don't do that. My wife will be pissed. Anyway, have a good one, everybody.